It's not wide enough for the traffic volume that it would be. An already crowded road could soon get even tighter, according to Pine Lakes resident Ron Thorson, who points out for us why he says a developer's plan to use their private community roads to build an adjacent community will be problematic. The first entrance will be right here, and this goes into the property. And so this first entrance is right about here. And obviously it comes in here in the morning between 7 and 10 o'clock. There are bikers and walkers and dog walkers and elderly citizens on the roads, golf carts. And, and this is a busy road just for me as a single vehicle. The developer Equity Lifestyle Properties owns Pine Lakes Country Club and are the ones who plan to build a second manufactured home community in the empty plot of land you see here. Tuesday night, they held an informational meeting at the North Fort Myers Rec Center to update the many upset community members you see all dressed in green. Fox 4 was allowed in the lobby, but Lee County Public's Information Officer Betsy Clayton said our cameras were not allowed to record what happened inside a public meeting, where residents like Ron said they would ask developers. So we're asking simply, who owns the roads? Pushing for answers, I was able to speak with Anna Sutton, Equity Lifestyle Properties Land Development Manager. Sutton declined to go on camera, but says it's her company, Equity Lifestyle Properties, that owns the roads that would be used. Sutton showed me this map. She says it shows three entrances the Lee County Board of Commissioners approved. Under that plan, they are accessed by driving through Pine Lakes. Once again, residents don't care if they develop it as long as they don't come into our community and use our, use our roads and use our amenities. And Sutton tells me tonight that they're still in the beginning phases of this project. That's why she said they held this meeting earlier tonight. She also tells me that in order to move forward, they have to meet not only with local departments, but also state departments like FDOT as well before any of this work can be done. Live in North Fort Myers tonight, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.